Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the graph of y is equal to the square root of 3x minus x squared is given, and we're asked to use transformations to create a function whose graph is as shown. So here we have a semicircle that is going from 0 to 3, and it reaches a height of 1.5. And here we have a semicircle, which is the sort of the other half of the circle, right, the bottom half of this imaginary circle, going from negative 1 to negative 4, and from one, negative 1 to negative 2.5. So in looking for the transformations, we can see that it has not been stretched horizontally or vertically, or shrunk. Right? The distance between the two points, um, the two furthest points on the x-axis is 3, right? From negative 1 to negative 4 is 3, just like 0 to 3 is 3. And vertically, 0 to 1.5 is 1.5 units, negative 1 to negative 2.5 is negative um, is 1.5 units. So we can rule out any stretches or shrinks. So we have reflections and we have shifts. So we can notice that if we were to take this function and reflect it about the y-axis, it would look something like this, obviously not a perfect graph. And then if we reflect it again over the x-axis, it would look like this, right? And the equivalent here, it would look like that, obviously not perfect, but going from 0 to negative 3 and 0 to negative 1.5. So we know that it is reflected over both axes, over the x and y. It has been moved to the left, 1, right? So going from 0 to negative 1 and negative 3 to negative 4. And down 1. So from 0 to negative 1 and from negative 1.5 to negative 2.5. So if we have the original function, we'll call it f of x. Reflecting over both axes turns it into negative f of negative x, right? This negative is for reflecting over the x-axis. This one is for the y-axis. Then we're going to the left one. So we have to be careful here. So going to the left one, let's say we have a function g of x. To the left one is g of x plus 1. Here, it's negative x plus 1. However, it is in parentheses. So it's really negative x minus 1, but we should show it like this to demonstrate the actual transformations that we're doing. And then down 1 is done outside of it like that. So this is negative f of negative x minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so this is the function. However, we're not dealing with f of x. We're dealing with this being f of x. So we have y is equal to negative, and then the square root of f of negative x minus 1 means we have to plug in negative x minus 1 in here. So we have 3 times negative x minus 1 minus negative x minus 1 squared. Right? Instead of 3x minus x squared, we have 3 of this minus this squared. And then we do subtract 1 at the end. And this is your function. You can simplify it if you want, but it's not really necessary. This is the function which has this graph, based on the fact that we know that this graph has this function.